Post-Impressionism, the discovery of the visual language of the imagination. Post-Impressionism is a term invented by Roger Fry to introduce a group of painters who took Monet's ideas, as Impressionists did, but transformed them differently. One of those artists, Vincent van Gogh 1853-1890, his art is as famous as his life story. But while alive, he was unknown even in the art community. Nevertheless, after he died in 1890, his paintings immediately influenced modern art. Van Gogh continued with the Impressionists started with the new style of applying paint. If you look closely at his brushstrokes, you can see that his paintings are like sculptures on canvas. Unlike the Impressionists, Van Gogh didn't want to depict reality. Instead, he tried to express how he felt about what he saw. Paul Gauguin 1848-1903 Gauguin started by collecting Impressionist art and eventually became a painter. He chose colors for symbolic and decorative purposes, and his painting style is closer to modern design than the classical art of the 19th century. Gauguin brought art back to the realm of imagination by using a contour line as a narrative device to separate the things he saw from his fantasy while mixing them in one painting. George's Sarah 1859 to 1891. This artist wanted to take the best from the Impressionists' ideas and give them structure and solidity. He invented the pointillist technique using multiple distinct dots of pure color pigments. Nowadays, we are not surprised to see a picture made from small colorful pieces. However, in the 19th century, it was an extremely new idea. Paul says in 1839 to 1906, this artist spent 40 years in self-isolation, a long time before coronavirus made isolating mainstream. He liked to choose static objects to make them the subjects of his art. The main idea was to show that humans look at the world with both eyes. So Cezanne, in his paintings, wanted to represent how we see things from two different angles simultaneously. Lately, his idea of binocular vision led to cubism and modernism. Did you know one version of Cezanne's The Card Players sold in 2011 for more than $250 million? This painting became a new mark for the highest ever price for a painting, not surpassed until November 2017 by Leonardo Salvatore Mundi.